Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And moving on to the next question, we have to draw a function with the following characteristics over here. So notice that these characteristics, we have a couple of limits. We also have a couple of points. So I'm gonna go through them one by one and try to connect everything into a diagram. First thing I'm actually gonna start with, I feel like it's the easiest to start with, is any points that are given because the points aren't really flexible. They're gonna be actual points on the graph versus we get a little bit more flexibility in terms of shapes when we have certain limits. Certain limits, there is not too much flexibility, but notice how, for example, here we have as X approaches negative infinity or X approaches positive infinity, it equals two. So we know the horizontal asymptote is gonna be at two, but we might have some flexibility whether we're approaching that horizontal asymptote from the bottom or from the top, so we can work with that later versus these points, they're gonna be set on the graph. So f of negative one equals zero, that's the same as the point negative one and zero. And then this here is one and zero, and then this here is two and one. So negative one and zero, that's the uh, x-intercept over here. So that's negative one and zero. Then we got one and zero over here. And then we got two and one. So two and one, let's say that's like over here. Like that. All right, so we dealt with these characteristics. So now let's go through these here. So as I mentioned, as X approaches negative infinity and as X approaches positive infinity, the function's going towards a y value of two. So we know that there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at a y value of two. So let's go through the rest. We have the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side of fx equals negative infinity. And as it approaches from the positive side, it equals negative infinity as well. What does that mean? That means that as we're approaching zero from both the negative side and the positive side, an x value of zero, the y values are going towards negative infinity. So they're going down here, and then they're going down there like that. So right here, that's taken care of. We haven't fully taken care of this yet. We know there's going to be a horizontal asymptote, but let's see what the behavior is gonna be like. Again, are we gonna approach it from the bottom or from the top? So let's look at these limits here. So we have the limit as X approaches two. We know an X value of two is over here, right? Cause this point is two and one. So as we approach two from the negative side, F of X is approaching 1.5. So where's that going to be? That's gonna be 1.5 is going to be about there. Right, because this here has a y value of one, and then we know this is a y value of two. So 1.5 is going to be about over here. And we know that this is gonna be a whole because at an x value of two, the function's already defined at a y value of one. All right, and because it's a function, it has to pass that vertical line test. So there can't be two points defined for that same X value. So we know that this here is gonna be a whole. And then as we approach two from the positive side, the function is approaching a Y value of three. So a Y value of three is gonna be like up here. So that's gonna be another hole over here. So if we connect all of this together, notice we could draw something like this has to go through here and then it has to go to there and then this here goes like that right does that make sense so for example we couldn't take this and then approach this point here we had to approach this point because we're told that the function approaches a y value of 1.5, which we stated is over here. As we approach this x value of two, let me erase this one and zero, which is over here. So as we approach this x value of two from the negative side, the y value is approaching 1.5. As we approach this x value of two from the positive side, the y value is approaching three, but at that x value of two, 
we have a defined point at a y value of one. So I feel like this part here was the trickiest. And because this part was above the horizontal asymptote, the rest of the function is gonna go towards that y value of two from the top. We could actually even, uh, if we wanted to, we could maybe even cross the horizontal asymptote and then come back. It doesn't really matter. We actually have flexibility with what to do over here, but I just drew it like that simply. And then over here, again, we have flexibility from like here all the way to uh, negative infinity. So we could have maybe crossed the horizontal asymptote and then came back down and approached it from the top. But again, I just made it go like that. There's nothing stated in these characteristics of what has to go on over here or over here. So you have flexibility in doing what you want there. So I just kept it like that. But over here, this pretty much, you have to have a hole here, you have to have a hole here, and then you have to have a solid dot there. So I feel like this portion over here was the trickiest to kind of get your uh, head around. But uh, yeah. This function here, notice it passes the vertical line test and it um, contains all of these characteristics.